Scorpio, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are already a continued subby, you know I love you for it. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. And before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So this week for your key to the week you have the justice card. So what is it that you are choosing to align yourself with and when I say align yourself I'm not talking about in a manifestation sense I'm talking about signing on the dotted line. This is about this week I kind of feel like you're picking a side, right? This is going to be the week where you say this is the side of the fence that I stand on. Whether that is, uh, you know, in regards to something that you have been on the fence about, whether it is something that is presented to you and, you know, you kind of maybe not necessarily want to choose but you have to. Um, this is going to be the week where you make a declaration, where you pick a side, where you pick a, a destination or a designation. There's something this week that kind of feels like you're saying, right, you know what, this is where I stand on dot, dot, dot. And it's very, um, very self-affirming for you. There's an energy this week that kind of pervades. It's kind of like you saying, no, you know what? If I have to declare where it is that I stand on A, B and C matter, this is where I stand. Good for you. For your actions and options, you have the star card, right? So this is lovely because it sees you really seeking to find your people or certainly to connect with your people and your tribe. A lot of you could be finding some sort of online community this week. Maybe you're starting an online community or maybe you are putting something out there um, that creates a community of its own. You know, I, I know uh, a friend who created a blog piece that ended up drawing so many people in that she ended up creating a community from that. So it could be something of that nature, but this week you are reaching the wider world and it's kind of like you're providing that safe space. And it might be because this week you're saying, you know what, this is where I stand on this. Um, and that rallies a whole bunch of people to your cause. I think you are going to be the star this week. I think there's a part of you that is really allowing you to shine and it's going to rally people to you and certainly see them supporting your cause or your standpoint, which is lovely. Um, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. For your communications and conversations, you have the King of Swords. An Aquarius, a Gemini or a Libra person is very likely to feature for you. The fact that you've got the star card here, that's an Aquarius person, right? That next to the King of Swords, that's literally an Aquarius. Um, for your communications and conversations, this is about your career, it's about your work. There is something this week where you are effectively um, maybe aligning yourself with a boss, maybe aligning yourself with uh, a person in authority, or maybe something official is taking place within the workplace. And it might be that you are, you know, maybe you're at, not at odds with, with the boss, but maybe you have an opinion this week on something and you refuse to back down on it. And because you've got the star card there, it's kind of like everyone's like, well, actually, you know what? I kind of side with them because whatever they're thinking or whatever they're putting forward seems to be what's best for all of us rather than just one person or a select few people. Um, remember as well, because you've got the justice card, which is right above the King of Swords, it could also be that a Libra person features for you in some way, shape or form this week as well. Um, but it does look like you you are, it's kind of like you're sticking to your guns this week, but you're doing it in a very official capacity. Uh, you know, it's like that sort of honest, open declaration. For your money and materials, you've got the five of pentacles. Finance doesn't look easy this week. Um, it could be that you end up taking a financial hit of some sort. Maybe you have to shell out money uh, quickly remember as well because this falls right underneath the star card 
It might be that uh, maybe some of your activities or something that you want to do ends up costing you more than you anticipated. If you do have anything planned this week, like, uh, you know, just be careful with your physical person as well, because your five of pentacles is here in your, um, you know, your heart and money and materials can be your health or your physical person as well. And then for your home, uh, it could be as well. Um, I have to say, not the week for invites, okay? So this is not a week to invite people into the home. Um, if you're gonna have gatherings or you're getting together with people, do it outside of where you live at. Um, and if you are going out, just be sure not to overindulge with the credit card, okay? For your love and relations, you have the star card, uh, the star card, no you don't. You have the Leo, the, ah, uh, come on Raph. <laughs> been a long day um, you have the strength card for those of you that are single uh, this could be that you are connecting with somebody that really makes you see things in a different perspective and it kind of feels like this person you and you and this person might have very different views on the materials of life on what it takes to have a good life with somebody you might find that your ideas or ideals about this are very very different but there's a connection there still um that's great you can have a connection but if you really are very fundamentally different people you might find that a struggle later on it's just something to be aware of uh, i remember hearing a saying once when i was little and it really hit home um you know a fish and a bird can be in love but where do they build their home um, this could be this week it's something is highlighted to you about how different a person is to you and whether that is or isn't going to work for those of you that are partnered long-term commitment married something that you uh, you and your partner it looks like something that you want it puts you at odds this week and because the five of pentacles is there it may very well be something financial the other thing that you might need to consider here as well is that your partner may end up being off of work for a period of time due to an injury it's just something that you might want to watch out for so if they are you know off out on their travels just tell them to be careful all right um i hope that i'm wrong on that one but you know the energy is there so i'm just gonna say it as I see. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up um, and fair play to you for standing your ground. All right, take care and I'll see you soon.